Armando Hasudangan, Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasudangan, please like, and you can also ask questions, answer questions, and post some interesting things, including artworks, it would be greatly appreciated. And you can change the quality settings to the highest one for better graphics. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about skeletal muscle, just an overview sort of thing. And so a skeletal muscle cell, as I mentioned in previous in the introduction video, is cylindrical shaped and multinucleated. And a skeletal muscle cell is known as a muscle fiber. And interestingly enough, skeletal muscle cell, the fibers, are striated by a highly organized internal arrangement. So this muscle fiber has an internal arrangement. So if we pull one of um, pull some things out from this muscle fiber, we we can find myofibrils. So muscle fiber contains many myofibrils. And if we take a portion of this myofibril, we can see that it's made out of um, some interesting structures known as the thin th and thick filaments. So the myofibrils contain thick and thin filaments. The red is the thick and the blue is the thin filaments. But of course, muscle f the muscle fiber, the muscle cell, is actually part of a bigger um, organized structure. So if we look at this bone and a skeletal muscle which attaches on it, and we cut a cross-section of skeletal muscle, we have the muscle, the organ. And so this is what the muscle looks like as an organ. And the muscle contains, if we look at the cross-section, different portions of the muscles, and we'll look into this soon. But the muscle contains an outer connective tissue layer known as the epimesium. And I hope I pronounced that right. And so if we take one of these portions of the muscle here, the portion of the muscle is known as a fascicle, and the fascicle also contains other internal structures. And the outer sort of connective membrane tissue is known as a perimesium. And then if we pull out one of these other internal structures of this fascicle, the portion of the muscle, this is where our muscle fiber is. And the muscle fiber contains a connective tissue wrapping around it known as the endomesium. And remember that a muscle fiber is the muscle cell. So this is this. And also the muscle fiber, the muscle cell, contains a membrane known as a sacrolemma. And again, if we remember, if we take one of the, the internal structures of the muscle fiber, fiber, we have a myofibril. And the myofibril contains the thin filaments and the thick filaments. So let's just recap. If we start off with a whole muscle, an organ, and we get a portion out of that, we get the muscle fascicle, which is the portion of the muscle. And the muscle fascicle contains many muscle fibers, the actual muscle cells. And then again, the muscle fiber, the muscle cell, contains many internal structures, the myofibril. So muscle fiber, muscle fiber contains many myofibrils, which are specialized internal intracellular structures. And the myofibrils are the ones that contain thick and thin filaments, also known as the cytoskeleton elements. And so we will concentrate on the myofibrils, the specialized intracellular structures of the muscle fiber. And we'll specifically look at a portion of the myofibril. And the portion of the myofibril, they all contain um, the thin filament here in blue and the thick filament here in red. And an important terminology to know is a sacromere. And a sacromere runs from one Z-line to another Z-line. So from one, basically one thin element, one thin filament Z-line to, to another thin filament Z-line. And so if we zoom into this one sacromere, here we have the thin filaments made up of actin. And the center of the sacromere, we have what's called the M-line. And from the M line, uh, in the center, we have the thick filaments, which are made up of a protein, myosin. And we have other internal structures here in orange, which we will look into later on. But remember, sacromere runs from one Z-disc or Z-line to another Z-disc to another Z-line. And this is a thin and thick filament structure, a sacromere structure. But let's have a closer look at, the, at, at one sacromere. So here we have one sacromere with the center being called the M-line here. And the sacromere runs from one Z-disc to another Z-disc, or a Z-line to another Z-line here. And a sacromere is a section and extends from one Z-disc to 
the next Z-disc. And the sacromere is the smallest contractile unit of muscle, so you can say. And so when a, sac when a sacromere contracts, or when a lot of sacromere contracts, this is when our muscles contract, when we move, for example. And so again, looking over the anatomy of the sacromere, we have here the thin filaments, which are made up of a protein called actin. And then we have the thick filaments, made up of a protein called myosin. And then these orange things, which connect to the thick and thin filaments, are elastic filaments, known as, made up of a protein called titin. But the most important thing to know from this structure is that myosin forms thick filaments and that actin protein forms thin filaments. 